Hey yo, it's Teresa again. I am at my favorite campsite again, and I'm super excited to get out on the trail. Uh, the other day when I was on the trail, a big group of hikers came by and they were asking me all about what I'm doing. And I got the chance to tell them all about slime molds and mushrooms and how slime molds are different than mushrooms and they can kind of move around and like hunt for their food. And everyone was like super excited about it. They were like, super into what I was telling them and when they walked away I could hear one of them say I am so glad we went on this trail because otherwise we would have missed out on slime molds and the meaning of life and I just thought that was so cute and so perfect because I feel like this really is the meaning of life to go out and look at things and be like whoa that's fucking cool and just appreciating nature and just appreciating the small things that you walk by every day and so I I think I should name my next book that slime molds and the meaning of life so yeah I'm excited I want to go find some slime molds and the meaning of life so let's get out on the trail and see what we can find today I'm a frog girl today if you didn't notice got my frog hat on I want to show you guys this cool shirt I got Check it out. It glows in the dark and ooh, it's UV reactant. Cool. I love this shirt. Gotta have the mushroom shirt on. Let's go. Crikey. I found this beautiful little Amanita mushroom here. This one is a little different than other ones I've seen. It has a yellow stipe. I'll have to look up to see which species this is, but it's definitely Amanita. It's got the universal veil remnants on the cap. Um, it's got the bulbous base, which is two characteristics of the Amanita genus. So I'll have to look this up later, but really pretty, taking some really cool pictures of it. So. I just found Cordyceps tenipsis. Found it growing like right next to this little rock. I'm gonna dig it up and see what it's growing on. Some kind of pupae, I'm guessing. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, ooh. My first, well actually this is my second Cordyceps of the year. I found a real Cordyceps militaris earlier, but. Let's check it out. The bug was all disintegrated, so couldn't get a really cool picture, but that's a good sign. Maybe we'll find some more cordyceps. Ooh, there's some cute stuff over here. I love it when I find one cool thing, and then I just, like, crouch down and look around, and then you can find so much other stuff. That's how I find the coolest stuff, is when I find other stuff. I see something right there, too. Ooh. This is cool. This frog hat is really bringing joy to people of all ages. Every time someone passes me, they smile and say they love the frog hat. Who doesn't love a frog hat? I mean, you're kind of crazy if you don't love a frog hat. Okay, let's get some more pictures. <laughs> So I've talked about these before. These are also called brittle gills and you can kind of tell when you try to snap it. It's like super brittle. They have these little cells called spherocytes and the cells are like way bigger and that makes it be able to like break off super easily. These are fun to like throw at a tree and they pretty much explode everywhere. These are really common. Um, I've seen them everywhere today. They're mycorrhizal so they'll like grow with the trees and share nutrients and information and stuff but yeah rustlers pretty common this was one of like the first ones i learned when i was
wants learning mushrooms. Russella Brittle Gill. Found some waxy caps over here. I first saw these like bright reddish orangish mushrooms and I um, had to come look and I could tell they're waxy caps because they have gills that are widely spaced and they're usually this like bright color. These aren't like super waxy. Some of them others are like, you can see why it's called a waxy cap. But this is probably in the Hygrosopy genus, I'm guessing. But I really like these because the gills take really cool pictures, so. Found me another slime mold city. I hate it when they're in the most inconvenient spot though. I feel so awkward right here, but I'll try to get some cool pictures of these. I don't know what these are, but they're freaking everywhere. Cool. Check out these little cuties. Grown on wood. I think it might be Satharella. I'm not sure which species, but a lot of the Satharella will have like this little kind of like a fuzziness to it. You can kind of see it on this one too. Satharella. That's a genus I need to learn more about. Also, we have some Artomyces. This is a coral, coral fungus. You can tell it's in the genus Artomyces because it's growing on wood. There's another species that grows terrestrially um, called Romeria. So this is probably Artomyces pixidatus. Really cool little corals. Ooh, there's a little cup over here. Lots of cute little stuff on this leg. Man, this whole area is so beautiful. I just found this mushroom that's getting eaten by some kind of parasite. Maybe another fungi or something. It's so cool to see other fungi attacking mushrooms. I just want to thank you all for being here and supporting my mushroom adventures. I feel so grateful that I get to live my life to the fullest and go mushroom hunting all day and just focus on what I'm passionate about. I couldn't do it without your support. I really appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes and um, just helps out my content. So I really appreciate all of you guys. I love you. Check out this Lactarius mushroom I found. This one oozes out that milky white substance, but it's a little different from the other ones I've found because the cap is almost kind of like velvety. And I was looking on e mushroomexpert.com and I'm thinking this might be Lactarius lingotellus or something similar to it. Um, but yeah, this one's a little different than the other Lactarius I found. They're really pretty and the white milky latex is like super sticky like way more sticky than the other ones i found this one is especially weird because it actually has some gills growing on top of the cap there's a really funny mushroom group called dumbass mushrooms that don't know how to grow right and sometimes this just happens with mushrooms check it out i found trichaptum biforum this is a purple polypore. You can really see the purple on the edges here. This is um, makes some really cool pictures. I also found this Xylaria magnolii. Check that out. Cool. I'm like right in the middle of the trail. I gotta hurry up and do this fast. Fruiting 
days of Chorus Borea. I've been seeing the wood stain mycelium like everywhere. All this like bright blue stained wood and it's from this mushroom Chorus Borea and this whole log. I'm gonna try to get some really cool pictures. And it's like right next to a slime mold too. This is gonna be awesome. I've been looking for this. Oh, there's all kinds of slime molds over here. Oh my God, shit. I was about to go back, but now I'm excited. Try to get some cool pictures. I was right this really is the meaning of life just to look at nature and be surrounded by it and just be amazed by the world around us I feel like we take it for granted so much but if you really look around you realize how amazing and crazy and strange and what a weird little world we live on we're literally on a rock in outer space like floating through the universe and we're finding cool mushrooms and slime molds and all kinds of mysteries out here it's so much fun. I hope I can inspire you guys to get out and look around and just appreciate the small things in life. Wow. Oh my god, I just found some young chicken of the woods. It's so exciting. I have to wait a while for it to actually grow some more but hopefully by the time I leave at the end of the week it'll be popping up cool Whew. all right I was on the trail for like four hours and I am freaking exhausted it's hard work being a mushroom girl but someone's gonna do it babe so I think I deserve a beer and a burger so I'm gonna go into town. I have to get internet too, cause I can't get internet out here. So I'm gonna go get internet and do some internet things, answer messages from my internet boyfriends and whatnot. And check out the town for a little bit. Maybe check out the museum. I saw some stores with some cute mushroom stuff. So maybe do some shopping. Um, I'm gonna get some like, some kind of brats or something for later. I'm gonna do porcini and brats and I think it's gonna be freaking delicious. So cook up a little fire, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, let's go do some city stuff in this rich people town. Yay. But it better keep you warm